What's going on, YouTube? It's Ali Dope checking in once again with another banger video. Today, we will create a bootleg shirt design inspired by the show Demon Slayer. Now, my homie Kawisi from Toronto, he reached out to me to do a bootleg shirt design inspired by one of his favorite shows called Demon Slayer. Now, he insisted that I make a speed art for this design. So here we are. Now, enough with the chit chat. Let's just hop into the screen so I can break down the speed art. All right, so you guys know how it goes. We're just gonna start right off with cutting out the images that you're gonna use for the bootleg design. Me, I normally use select subject and I usually inverse it depending on what I'm cutting out. Sometimes I use the polygon tool, um, but when you're cutting them out, just keep in mind where you're gonna place some of these images so it's easier when you're starting to add your placements. Okay, so now we're gonna start moving into some of the placements of the images. You can play around with them. I try to use the top first and then move downward, um, but it's all up to your bootleg design and what you are aiming to do. Right now, as you can see, most of the images are being centered around the main or one of the main characters, the guy in the middle. Um, but I really started off with the top left. I really like that image. images as a slight background for some of the empty spaces. Now that's it for pretty much the placement. Um, to make it easier, if you need to make adjustments, make sure you're naming your files on the side so you can easily access them when you're trying to change them or make adjustments. Now I'm gonna move on to some text. I just played around with a few different options, what I thought was best. It's all trial and error. This design's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be use this for all year. You know what I'm saying? Just use what you feel like is gonna fit the design the best way. Okay, so I made some slight style adjustments to the text. All I did was do a light blue to a dark blue gradient, and I put like a white stroke around it with a yellow outer glow. I just felt like the yellows and the blues matched the overall look of the design the best. Okay, so after you finish up with the text, all I'm gonna do is, like I said, make sure the layers are named correctly. I went and added some outer glows that match the text. So I just added the yellow outer glow on some of the actual images within the design itself. Just to bring out the background a little bit, cause you could use a drop shadow or something like that, but you know, use some versatility to bring some colors and some popping into it. And it's cartoons, so I felt like a lot of colors for the cartoons will work the best. Okay, so after you finalize adding your outer glows and your drop shadows, 
you also got to play with some of the placement. I didn't like how the Demon Slayer looked back there. So I added the actual Demon Slayer logo at the bottom and then put Demon Slayer at the top just so I can um, capture both audiences, the native language and the English audience. And that's pretty much it. I added some brushes from my pack just to give it some lightning on the sides overall. But for the most part, it's pretty much finished. I try to keep it uh, simple to the keep the bootleg aesthetic so it's not too much going on. But like I said, you guys got to play around. Play with your favorite cartoons. Let me see what you guys come up with. And I, I hope this helped you once again. Okay, once again, guys, I hope you took something from that, was inspired by that in some way, shape, or form, or just entertained. I appreciate all the support. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for me. Please share the knowledge to everybody else. And until next time, creators, man, keep learning, keep hustling, and most importantly, keep creating. Until next time, Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.